How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about performance, specifically the top three performance modifications you can make to your FRS, BRZ, or 86, or really any sports car. Now some people, when you mention performance, they automatically think super high horsepower numbers, big turbos, superchargers, et cetera, et cetera. But most of those people wouldn't even be able to take advantage of the 200 horsepower in this car out on the track. And I say 200 horsepower very optimistically. So when I'm referring to performance, I'm talking about how a car performs out on the track. And I'm thinking about what I can do to get the most out of the car while making the least amount of changes. So first and foremost, a set of sticky tires is gonna make a world of difference, especially on this car because these stock tires are complete garbage. Get rid of them, swap them out. If you wanna do any sort of performance driving, whether it's autocross or track days, get yourself a set of high performance summer tires like these Bridgestone RE71Rs or some Hankook RS4s or the new Falcon RT660s that a lot of people have been liking. Any sort of 200 treadwear tire is gonna be a lot better than the stock tires and it's gonna be a huge upgrade. Now this car came with some all seasons on it that I took to mid Ohio and that's gonna give me a really good idea of how much better these tires are. I did have to replace the all seasons cause there was a screw in them and I just threw on some inexpensive Hankook Ventures V12s which are a 320 treadwear tire. So still not ideal, but I don't need a super sticky tire on the stock wheels cause these are just gonna be what gets me to and from the track. These REs are just waiting for some wheels to come in. So once those get here, I can just get them mounted and throw on the car. You guys will be surprised on how much different the car feels and how much faster you can get around the track once you get a set of tires on there. So first on your list should be a set of sticky tires. Now going fast is great and all, but you also need to be able to stop fast, which is why at number two, we have brake pads. And while you're at it, you may as well change the fluid and lines as well. Now a set of performance oriented pads are gonna give you that stopping power you need and be more resistant to brake fade so that you can be consistent lap after lap and have the confidence to go into those corners at 120, 130. Again, very optimistic. But point being, you need to be able to stop fast and scrub off that speed for the corners. As far as brake pads go, there are a ton of different options to choose from, so you really need to take into consideration what you're using the car for. If you're just out dailing your car on the street and doing some canyon runs here and there, you're not gonna wanna opt for that full track pad that's super aggressive because it's gonna need heat in it, it's gonna be noisy and dusty. You're gonna want just a street pad that's more aggressive than your stock pad. On the other hand, if you're building a full track car, you are gonna wanna opt for that really aggressive pad over just a street pad. So again, you really need to think about what you're using the car for and then make an informed decision from there. But brake pads are definitely a must because you're gonna find that the stock pads are just not adequate once you start pushing your car to the limits. Last but certainly not least, once you have those sticky tires and you've changed out those pads and you feel like you've got a good understanding of your car, you can start looking at some aftermarket suspension like these Faction Fab FR Spec coilovers that I'm gonna be installing on this car. Not only do these allow me to lower the car, but because they're more stiff, they're going to improve our turn in and drastically reduce the amount of body roll, keeping our car flat and settled through those corners. Most are also gonna come with camber plates up front so we can get even more grip out of those tires and these come with 32 way damping adjustments so we can really dial in how soft or stiff we want it depending on what you like. Now there are a couple things you wanna take into consideration when you change up your suspension. One, you need to make sure you are doing your research and have all the suspension components that you need. For example, on this car, in the rear, the stock lower control arms have no camber adjustments. So we need to get some aftermarket adjustable lower control arms to dial in that camber. Second, relating to that is if you change your suspension, you need to make sure you go out and get an alignment. A bad alignment can quickly tear up a set of tires and that is the last thing you wanna do if you spend the money on a nice set of tires. To sum it all up, if you guys want a good baseline to really start pushing the limits of your car, get yourself a set of sticky tires, some performance brake pads, and a set of nice aftermarket coilovers. And that should be a great starting point. Once you've done that, you can start messing around with other components to help dial things in. For example, I'm gonna be putting a beefier front sway bar on this car to help with some turn in and give it a bit more push on exit so we can be more aggressive on throttle. But those are just some of the modifications that I recommend to help improve the performance of your car. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below what tires you're running, what brake pads or suspension you're running. I'm always open to suggestions. If you guys wanna follow along on this build, hit that subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.